Hello, I'm Dwight Norris of Fish Network, and today we're going to be reviewing the Fish Bites Sea Worm Edition. Stay tuned. So we're here in Fallon, Massachusetts, right at the Trunk River, and I've decided that right now we're going to try out this Sea Worm Alternative by Fish Bites, as you see here. It looks like a piece of tape gum. It's a synthetic alternative that's infused with sea worm flavor, just like a uh, Berkeley Power Bag. It's pushed in and apparently lasts for a long time. You can use it on the hook. You can use it as a long strip about, uh, I believe Eastman's base stop said I should cut it about one to two inches in length and hook it on my number four, number six hook. It's like it's a piece of bait. You can also use it as a strip alternative at the end of a big jig head if you're striper fishing or bluefin fishing. But I wanna use it just like it's a piece of sea worm and try it out here. Now, one of the great things about this uh, this worm here is that you don't get slimy. Right now my sea worms are dying. I have one out of like 10 that are alive and I'm not too happy about that because they're not cheap. But now it's a good time to try it out. So if you're for family and they don't want to touch a sea worm that's going to bite them because they have little alien, you know, predator-like daggers that come out at you and, and really hurt if they get you, just like any, anything else in the sea that's a crustacean, you don't want it to happen. So this is a really good alternative, I hear, but I want to give it my own, my own, uh, you know, try. Right now it's low tide, it's about to be slack tide. I can barely reach where the fish are happening. My son's over here, he's getting some bites. I'm not getting any bites, but we're gonna try this out. So, I'm gonna give a quicker look if, if you can go online at Fish Bites. Uh, I'm not sure it's fishbites.com, but check it out. Like right here, you can just pause the video and read the instructions on the back and on the front. You can get this at your local um, bait shop anywhere on the shoreline on the East Coast. They are growing rapidly. So, let's just cut to the chase and so I've got the uh, the fish bite sea worm edition out. It's just like any other piece of gum, except it's not. It's like freaking concrete. I pulled like as hard as I could to make a snap, and it barely broke. So if you do get some of this, make sure you just get some scissors and just give it a snip. That's easier. Now I'm going for a longer length, about two inches, and I'm gonna put it on my bait hook here. It's at number six. Let's see how easily it threads through. Not so easily, but I'm just gonna put my fingers on both sides and help it pull through. And man, it is tough. So I don't think this is really gonna let go. And the fish are gonna have a long time to bite on this thing. This is serious. Hmm. I don't even like, wow, that is, that's really tough. Now, it, does it get soft after it gets wet? I wanna figure that out. I'm not gonna focus too much on me standing around and fishing. Nobody wants to see that too much. Now that I've done this, I think I would have gone for the one inch strip. This two inch strip is a little too long for a number six hook. And there we go. So let's try it out. So on this rod, a big surf rod guy here, I've got on that new fish bites sea worm alternative. I haven't felt any bites yet, but it's a huge rod. I might be getting those little taw togs that are about six inches long, nipping at me. You know, my, my son's rod here. I got on an actual sea worm. Now, I want to see which one gets the fish first. But I threw way out there. I'm talking like, probably like 80, 90 yards with the surf rod. I've only thrown about 30 rods with the sea worm. As you saw in the last screenshot, the Fish Bites Sea Worm 
imitation artificial bait has a weird kind of structure to it. Over time, the the infused rubbery, hard plasticky part starts to dissolve like a like you sucking on a piece of candy for a while. And all you're left with is that piece of mesh, which is the reason it's so hard to cut. You can't just break it unless you're me and you're pulling hard as you can. But over time, you're gonna lose that piece, that little orange stuff. And when that's gone, the sea worm flavor will be gone. So it took me about, I don't know, 20 minutes to get to where I was at that point, which was about a third of the two inch stick had dissolved. So I'm saying somewhere between 45 minutes and an hour, you will not have any more sea worm flavor. So what does this mean? Well, it means, well, it'll be lasting longer than a sea worm if you do get bites on it. I was in a bad place at a bad time and even sea worms weren't getting anything, even though I found a, a live one, still no action. So if I go out again before this vacation's over, it'll be over at Falmouth Harbor where I know there's some definite action at all tide times. And then I'll try this out again and see if I actually get something. Cause I know the snapper out there, not the snapper, the puffers, the scup, the black sea bass, and the tata in a variety of sizes. They will tell me whether this works or not. But for right now, people say it works. It lasts a long time. It's strong. It stays on the hook. It dissolves in about an hour or less, and it's worth a try. I'll be looking more into fish bites and what else they have to offer. So stay tuned for that. But for now, hey, if you're looking to go fishing more often, you can go to the website, fishingnetwork.com, and just below the fold, you'll see a section where you can get the 10 Steps to Go Fishing at Work PDF for free. No email sign up, click the button, PDF pops up, no questions asked. That's for you, that's my freebie for you. I want you to get out there and try it. Don't have to do anything for it, it's completely free. Now, if you go to the top, there's a quiz. If you answer the quiz, you will find, you will get different solutions to your answers to your questions and if that question is i don't know how to go fishing at work i can't figure it out i need help you will be sent to my video course which is the everyday fishing system where i go through in detail and video and audio if you want to do that on your phone when you're at work how you can go from not being able to fish at all or very often i only during weekends a weekend warrior to fishing possibly every day like i have before it is possible, I've done it, and I have evidence of other people doing it too. Even people at onthewater.com. If you know them, they're right here in Falmouth, Massachusetts. And one of their, um, I think their video editor, does exactly that, and he does a lot of it on the Cape Cod Canal, where we know everybody wants to go striper fishing at, and it's just crowded all the time. But that's cool. He goes fishing every day. Somebody in, in the Midwest goes fishing every day. I've gone fishing every day before, and you can too. So, if you're interested in that, get that there. I will try to put it on the main page and not have you go through a quiz as well. But for now, it'll be there. And soon it'll be going up in price. Right now it's at an introductory price of $4.99, which is basically nothing. So, if you need that kind of help, great. If you don't, get a 10 step process to go fishing at work for free, no email. You don't even have to even say hi to me. So, that's it. Now get out there and go fishing.